Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. Yo, Yo Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba! <laughs> Samantha! Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. No, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no? Fang. The uh, one and only kid. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's uh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> what in the world is that? It's Victoria! <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Check it out, Wash. Vic is fighting like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means... Well, for starters, we could cheer. Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. <laughs> Come on, break it up, guys. I'm gonna come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussy cat of my dreams. Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget. Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know, your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <sighs> not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too. I could drink buckets. Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it going to be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, Fang, I hate to break it to you, but... Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, oh, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but... What exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Nick, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> huh? You pretty much get it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me. Samantha, before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are, well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one you're supposed to be crazy about! What in the world is going on here? It's a game! Join in! Bang! <laughs> 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 look at me! I'm so pretty! What's wrong? Can't you see? Run after me! Me! Hey, Fang! Leave Sam alone! Knew it would come down to this. Ha! Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha! 
You want to win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of blah compared to Samantha. You, Fang. Check out your sweetie Samantha now. What is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. <laughs> Great. Now you're back to worshiping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. This is what you've always wanted. Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Fang! Wanna explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. That reminds me. I'll be right back. Gotta go real bad. Like I was saying. Uh, just a sec. Samantha? Uh, I mean, Sam? I think this is gonna take a little while. Uh, time to be. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bloop, bloop. <sighs> Bedtime, my beloved beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stones bed. One, two, three, go! Yeah! and I'm on the floor. Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy, and they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... <laughs> He's already asleep, isn't he? Yeah, dreamy. you bandit-faced dumpster divers? We're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. <sighs> Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally, dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I call the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's feet. Oh, no! If Wash doesn't chase out the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. Oh, Sam, you're overreacting. You're right. I'm overreacting when I should be over overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen. Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries. I got this. Time's up, boys. The face closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can eat here. <laughs> oh. I said... <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your rackets making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi-weekly, but... 
Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You're a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. We cool. We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, bro. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the dream, man. Hey, want to take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours, and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <laughs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? It was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who? The what? That's the Raccoon Gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Washington, you hear? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down! Hmm. Wanna run with us again tonight? Found a taco shack's dumpster! Oh, I do like day old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam? I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No. Okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo like mine. Uh, don't worry. I'm a total professional. I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <sighs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in tummy rub town? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, good trick! It's like play dead only as play scary! Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but the raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk! Hmm? Nap time, again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care! Okay, time for plan B. Which is? Whatever I think of next. Aha! Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show. We could get kicked out. Oh, you guys. I have my wild side under control. 
I can stop any time. You almost bit Mr. L this morning. And I've smelled used litter boxes fresher than you. Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's. You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I can do action. You make weapons from twigs and feathers. Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. Leave my best friend alone! Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no! Washington! I won't let you ruin his life one second more! Who wants hot dogs? Okay, his life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, fancy fur! Don't call me fancy! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, your pie hole fools! Raccoons best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out! Yeah, not until it shakes. Back off, fellas. No way, bro. It's go time. Hey, I wasn't asking. Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends! Your, your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us! Belly dance? Yeah, I ain't better at tap. Belly, Belly dance! dance. is back. And these foemen. <laughs> ah, crazy fox dog. That ain't a fox. That's a freak. Run, ah! run, run. <laughs> it was just so. I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? <laughs> wow. You really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> Just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> this stupid costume is killing me. Who knew wearing two layers of be so hot. This must be what it's like to be a baked potato. I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? This costume is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late. Left you extra kibble. Ouch. Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the L spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! Yay! We're bad 
enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam? You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or oh, they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Now, isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer. Because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah. They went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? 
Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? <laughs> you seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse! You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Let them out of our sight. the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. Gotta catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? <laughs> this time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. I promise I will never, ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. 
with my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alec Alec doing? Sam, oh, he's playing here. Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. <laughs> Alfie, he's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see. Eugenie, stop. You could get hurt. Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. I never remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir! Whoa! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy. Fetch it all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. <gasps> like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! Oh no! Bunny, I'm sorry. I don't know my own strength. Why? <laughs> Told you. He's a lunatic. Alfie, what happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong, and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again. Cake! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is this your bunny? Yep. Her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. L. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming back? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's gotta stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're coming for you, Eugenie! She can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Or well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day! So fluffy! <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself! You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute. 
Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates. Arr, Eugenie. Let's dig for treasure. Arr. Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh no! Is she yeah. in a tree? <gasps> you need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Eugenie says no way! She's having some guests. Besides, Alfie likes rice! Alfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk! That's the last straw! We've got to find a way in without being seen! I have an idea! <laughs> Shh! Hey, Bush! Quiet, Sam! Bushes don't talk! You're gonna blow our cover! What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yeah! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... The Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> Now where are we gonna get Eugenie now? Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street! Wait! Where did she go? Huh? <gasps> where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV! Elsie brought those bushes to life! I did? Oh, that's great! My magic powers are stronger than I knew! Kids! Inside now! We have to get to Alfie! He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back! Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie! You didn't disappear! Of course not, silly! I've just been hanging out in here! Check it out! <laughs> <laughs> I was worried sick about you, and you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <laughs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. 
we'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. <laughs> You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> 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 Man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop. It was awesome. The bushes were like poof. And the kids were like, ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee. Magic, help me move that tree. Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive. It really is magic. That's it. Here we are. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Also included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the tug. <laughs> Boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were-fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were-fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a red fox moon party. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon from my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red How moon tonight. Hope we don't see any werefoxes. <laughs> werefox? Can someone please explain? Oh, yeah. You've never heard of a werefox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do yeah. you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe, yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling! <laughs> Too salty. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner wear fox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the moon is turning more and more red. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy, twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. Almost that time. Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, it away from the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry nine, again. Eight, seven, <gasps> six, five. Hide your cat because wait, what? the red moon Hide is your coming. Cat? That means it's
собрание. And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night, where a real-life Werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <laughs> Saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> Too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. And away the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Oh. Or the fridge thing, whatever. You guys are going to get so busted. No way, they'll be gone for hours. Huh? Huh? Ah, they're back. Panic! Ah! Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast. Podcast and it... Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Uh. Look, hon. He wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No, really, Washington. You're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic! Yeah! The Majestic Domestic! Oh, that's good! I like that! Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet! You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you! Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the majestic domestic! Remember, 
total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No. I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. <laughs> We're home, kiddos. And there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken. So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> Chicken. What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> woof, woof, arf! Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof! All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go. Perfect. A free-range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great. See you soon. Bye. Good news, hon. The farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers. Bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam. You can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys. Higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! 
It's all gonna be fine now. Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone? Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! You can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Hush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented and do we know any notaries? Never mind, it's just a symbolic thing, but you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey, come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay, let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. One. I did it. I actually did it. He did it. How's it going, furry friends? Meow. Sam? Meow. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Concerning their whereabouts, please contact your local precinct. Ha! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Super, super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Ah! 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 Ah
a fox always lands on his paws. Quick, it's time! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! time favorite show. Super Mask is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my Super Claw. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nap. <laughs> Anybody have a bandage? How are we gonna watch our show now? I really wanted to see this one too. I've only seen it seven times. My friends, would Super Mask ever back down from the enemy? Never! Never. And would Super Mask back down from a little cat claw? Never! Uh, maybe? Great, here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Dr. Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! yeah! Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey, why that's... A super yeah. mask! Ooh, super? Super? <gasps> super mask! <gasps> you guys look like real superheroes! Even better than on TV! Yup, and with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals. Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes. And what we're gonna do is pig out on pizza. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of saving the world, like Super Mask. Hmm? No, okay. Pizza after? <laughs> yeah. A mission for <laughs> the masked fox. <laughs> My balloon. <laughs> this is a mission for Captain Blackbird. Oh, oh, oh. Who turned up on the light? Oh, it was me. <laughs> oh. Sure, I hit them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. 
Oh! The police! Ah. Quick! Hide! Move, Big Bud! I can't breathe! Hurry up! Oops, sorry. Wash? Sam? Is that huh? you? Hmm. Yeah. Oh! Meow! Woof! Woof! Meow! There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties. Wow, something worse than prison food. This kibble's actually pretty good. We got work to do. Eat later. Feel the wind on your fur. Oh, the joy of being costume free. Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster. We've got you this time. Uh, change your plans, guys. Right for your life! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo. So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no. The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. <gasps> the real burglars disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house. <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Help! Thieves! Hey, Vic, it's us! What proves it to you? Can't you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? Ah! Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No, first we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> It's coming from the kitchen. Huh? You? Our costumes, mm. quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police. As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news! Infamous burglars Edgar and Marty were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. You're not coming, Wash? Phew. Being a superhero was exhausting. I gotta rest. More for me. And that 
is how the masked fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You're ours, Golden Rake. <sighs> Do you really think we have a chance to win the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest? Absolutely. Rosebud, this is the year we finally win this thing. Uh, it's the first year we've entered. Exactly. I can feel it. No, not my flowers. Freeze, please. Inside, this yard is hereby off limits until the Golden Ray Garden of the Year contest is over. Stay inside all day? What are we supposed to do? Watch TV! Oh no! Vic is falling asleep in front of Fishbowl TV! Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Slick trick, Wash. Yeah. <gasps> What's that? Barbarossas! When he wants to cool off, the Barbarossa rolls in the mud, just like his cousin, the wild boar. We're family. I can see the resemblance. Ha! Stay tuned for the entire season of The Wonderful World of Barbarossas. <sighs> Come on, Buttercup. Only wild animals could do such a thing. <laughs> Do you hear that? They think it was us. It's okay. We were watching the wonderful world of Babarusas all night. And how do we prove that? We're going to have to find the creature with no manners who did this. <laughs> Victoria Livingstone, where were you in the middle of the night? Tell him, you were in the yard. What? I was asleep, <sighs> having horrible nightmares thanks to your Babarusa cousins. Cousins who like to run in the jungle and play in the mud. Ugh. Impressive, aren't they? In fact, they're showing the wonderful world of Babarusas again tonight. Uh, no way. My turn. I'm watching Fishbowl TV. Where's the remote? Right here. <laughs> Give it! Ah! Babarusas love to roll around in the mud. They've never <laughs> Scissors. Scissors. <sighs> Watering can. Watering can, stat. Watering can. Well? I think they'll pull through. Be strong. But if it happens again... I'm not sure I'll be able to save them. Don't worry, Daffodil. I'm going to stand guard all night. I still wonder a tiny bit. Was it really wild animals or our animals? Well, this gang can get a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> they think it was us. Well, it'll be extra sweet when we catch the culprit. 
We're gonna get extra food. Yes! Papa Rusa is an extremely social animal. They regularly rob each other's snouts. Chicken? Where? Where? It's not a chicken, it's the beast! There! The beast? We're gonna catch him, Red Pod! Spread out! The wild beast is escaping! <laughs> We're finally gonna discover who the wild beast is! Dead! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Washington? Is that you? Oh no! Mr. Livingstone is gonna see Quick, Sam! Gotta get home! Huh? Did you find your wild beast wash? Don't move, boy! I'm coming! Way to go, Wash! You chased away the wild beast! Whatever it was, you saved our garden! And to think that we thought it could have been you! Sorry, boy! <laughs> Me? The wild beast? Impossible. You must have watched too many Barbarossa episodes on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, you started dreaming of Barbarossas. <laughs> Next thing you know, you were sleepwalking. As one of them. <laughs> So, I am the Garden Beast? Don't worry, I've got a great plan. All you have to do is stay up and not sleep at all until the Garden of the Year contest is over. Not sleep? But I love to sleep. Here. Good thing Eugenie's keeping Sam awake. Yeah, but I'm not keeping Sam awake. Susie's doing it. I'm not keeping Sam awake because I'm here. <gasps> Sam! Sam! What's original about the Bobby Rooster is that sometimes it behaves like a cat. What? Indeed, sometimes he likes to play like a cat. Here they come. I can't stand it. Stay calm, Buttercup. I am not a flower, okay? Not if we catch him before he does. Follow me, girls. Nice, Sam. Nice. <laughs> Actually, this show isn't so bad. Look at this. The wild boar is surprisingly fast on its feet. For a fatty, that is. <clears throat> Door. 
Welcome to our garden. The most peaceful spot in our home. Faced with danger, the wild boar proves to be a formidable adversary. <laughs> to think about what you've done. <laughs> At the end of the day, the battle rooster falls asleep, but sometimes in the middle of the night, he wakes up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at that! You holding Vic when she was a little kitten. I was pretty cute. And here's one of you and Vic. Aww, she's having her first piece of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, most of these are just of Vic. We don't have any nice new pictures with all our pets. A family portrait, fantastic. Let's do something simple and cozy. Or we could take a humorous theme photo. A theme photo? Yes, you know, where we all pose like scuba divers or golfers. <laughs> well, that's just the opposite of simple and cozy. Oh, I know. We'll go to the forest and take a wildlife photo. Simple and rustic. The woods it is. We'll bring a picnic. Did she say woods? <laughs> Into the woods? Our old neighborhood? What if somebody we know sees us? That could blow our cover. <laughs> We'd never be able to come back. <laughs> you hear? We're going into the woods! <laughs> you guys are such big babies. It's not like you're gonna have to hunt for food. Mrs. L will bring you treats. Relax. It's not that! It's the dirt in your fur! The fleas in your ears! The pine needles in your paws! And the litter box! <laughs> we need just the right spot for the photo. Something with trees in the background. <laughs> Oh, right here. This is the spot. And the light is perfect. Hurry, everyone. <laughs> Perfectionist. Come on, guys. It's picture time. OK, the faster we get this over with, the faster we get out of the woods. No pine needles, please. Oh, Vic, you have to at least come out long enough for the family photo. Uh... Come on, don't be so childish. <laughs> okay, say cheese. Oh, missed it. One more time, guys. Cheese. Nailed it. Gorgeous. Yes. Except there's a bear in the shot.
Quick! We've got to find the others! I know. I just have to start... Keys! Uh -huh. Where are the keys? Oh, no! You left them on the picnic table! Hey! He's gonna eat my picnic! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Sam! That's not a random bear, that's Mitch, our old neighbor! Ah, yes! I know that food smeared face and bad temper anywhere! What are we gonna do? I've got a plan! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you'd come up with something! For starters, we can't let Mitch see us with our costumes. Too many questions. Eugenie, Susie, you go that way. Distract the elf. Aye, aye, sir! We can't let them see us without our costume. <laughs> okay, now wait. Well, that's as far as I got. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Eugenie and Susie, there they are. Stay right here, Vic. We'll be right back. Hey, girls! Hey, Mitch! <laughs> Washington, Sam! What are you guys doing here? The whole forest has been looking for you. We, uh, we were snatched. Snatched? Kidnapped by humans. <laughs> And that's where we've been the whole time. That's terrible! We gotta hide you before they try to take you back! No, wait! Uh, Mitch, we... Shh! <laughs> the humans will hear you! Come on! Susie! Eugenie! Where are you guys? Okay, let's head back to base camp. The keys! That's it! Hey, but where are they going? Their suits are still here, but they disappeared. Mitch took them with him. What are we going to do? Take the basket. We can use it as bait. I'll take care of the costumes. Ah, oh, finally. Huh? Hmm. Susie? Eugenie? I'm here. Ah! Hmm? Oh, you guys smell weird. Oh, yeah. They make us wash with this horrible stuff called soap. Mm? Ew! That's gross! Finally, back to the wildlife. Oh, ow! Yeah, my paws already miss fluffy carpet. Fluffy carpet? What's that? <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Two! Da uh, two! Da uh, two! Uh, Gesundheit, you okay? <sighs> Allergies. Too much fresh air. Those dumb humans made you guys soft. You gotta get used to the wildlife again. You probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should show us. What's wrong with your eye? Oh, uh, dust. <laughs> Forest dust, like you said. I'm too soft. Hmm. Well, after all that, I'm hungry. Let's track down some treats, like wild animals. <laughs> Lift that rock. <laughs> I forgot how weak you two are. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the taste of home. <laughs> Tasty. <sighs> the 
things I do for this family. <laughs> you guys forgot how to deal with fleas, huh? Oh, hello, big boy. Now you do me. No, 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 no. It's your turn to deflee me. Yeah, let me make it easy for you. This time, I won't turn around. have to brush up on your scary attack poles if you want to try to fend off pesky humans. Okay? Attack poles! Ah, worse than I thought. I'll show you. It came from over there. Let's go. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The keys! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Watch and learn. You'll need this. <clears throat> no! <laughs> Ooh, my second basket of the day! <laughs> Where did Washington and Sam go? <laughs> they went that way? Thanks, weird dog. I owe you. <laughs> That was Washington and Sam. Oh. Our darling pets. Thank goodness. Wait a minute. They like those humans. They weren't kidnapped. They ran away. Everyone say cheese! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. Ready? Oh. 
Dream blanket. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go. Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you, we're the happiest humans in the whole world. Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, stay away from that blanket. Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. <laughs> what? Eugenie! Susie! What are you doing? Whoa! Look 
Where did Jimmy go? go? She can really fly. <laughs> On. What? It's my turn! Uh... <laughs> okay, enough, you two! Make up and be friends again! <laughs> oh, well, that was nice! It can't possibly be that soft! Can it? Ooh! Ooh! Oh, yes! That! is delicious! You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> You're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Huh? <laughs> I had it first and you took it away from me mid-dream. And it was an awesome dream, too. It's mine. I want it. I didn't get to have a real nap. Come on, give it. I know what you were trying to do. You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping. How rude! Some friends you are! I'm just a cute little bird and you wouldn't even share a tiny corner with me! What's gotten into you guys? You are huh? a cute bed hog! That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot! That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills! Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. What? How rude! Huh? You hate you! Don't touch that blanket! Come on, sis! Let's show them who we are! Yeah. You hate that This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Hey, move it, big box! <laughs> Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? didn't like it. Uh, oh. You can choose the new one. Okay. And no one will sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Hmm? What's that? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! If you can't beat him, join him! Shh! Don't make a peep! A little more to the right! Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong way. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I mean. Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. Why? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> <sighs> yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. She doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. 
Get them. Going on a grow spurt. Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. Come on, Bush. You're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony. Together. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck. It leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no! You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild. Dummies, and if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big dumb unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you? Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid! Uh, maybe baby isn't such 
a baby anymore. I grow up so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it. Oh. <laughs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. Ah! Ah! Ah, what is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for... <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, Wash, let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Watch out, girl! 
Dios. I was a cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20 mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... We... Hey, wait! We can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to you chew... You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader! You'll freeze out there! This is what old animals do. We return to nature. I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, nope. oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we could use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tire ones. Get the decorative teaspoons. <laughs> Good for you, kids. You got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Respectable thing. And go! Yeah, Wash, you did it! 
Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 I didn't really want to go to the woods. Having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. <laughs> Even real rocks? Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's going to be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. Stop dropping rolls! You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. No! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? <laughs> Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel. That's right. The vet said to arrive by noon. The k -k 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 kennel The vet? The living stones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. The elves are leaving us there. That could be fun. Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is his! Uh, uh, what? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, Yay. scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh. oh! What is 
gotten into you, pets. Come on, guys. We're going to be late for vacation. Ah, Mrs. Livingstone. I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment. But you can just drop off these first-time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners! Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sam. That looks scary, huh? Dressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. House and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? Come on, lad, get it! It's your only chance! Darn, it's all over. The old chap is too scared! Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts! Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby! <laughs> Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. 
I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, Silly Susie! Oh, sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back or they're gone! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Please! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And on a minute too soon. Ah! Oh. Uh, hey, uh, hey, what's going on? We came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! yeah. Quick! The suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage! You must mm -hmm. be kidding! It was our very last chance! <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> it was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No! 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 <laughs> Thank goodness! Oh! You said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too. too! I'm so <laughs> glad our kennel could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh... Uh, yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey. Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly. What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good, no fighting! To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Why? Are rotten eggs always late? Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? 
What should we play first? Hide and hog seek! It's like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me! But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh! Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are. Yeah. Excellent high job, buddy. Yeah. Best friend, Pawshake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Pawshake. They've been working on it for months. It's gotten out of hand. Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this! <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends' paw shakes. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> Oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That's pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <laughs> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat <laughs> and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh, of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not going to be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm going to have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I, I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. <laughs> you can do this, Sam. You've seen Vic do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf! <coughs> woof, woof! <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <clears throat> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray, you're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah, you make me so mad. <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! But mostly mad. This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry! I knew it! They are friends! What is 
going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we gotta get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Ha ha ha! I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm gonna ruin it! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! I mean, no! I'm so sad I could cry! <laughs> Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's typing! We got help! <laughs> okay, Sam, don't move! Huh? Oh, my! My heart, it hurts! And my nose, it stings! That's weird. Why does his nose sting? We're losing them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here, have some catnip. You cats love it. Yo, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip? Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat, that wasn't catnip, it was poison ivy. Uh? No! Could you? See? Cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. You may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Score what for cats? Hey, Sam, I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. <laughs> Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> They forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Can't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll 
I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy. Let's go inside. Last one there is a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No, should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? Hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yeah. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. about this restaurant. <laughs> Come out of here, cheeky spirit! Ooh, it's a cute <laughs> Quick, activate the anti-ghost ray! Nothing stops ghost hunters! We should, um, probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty old ghost! <laughs> Ugh, your breath! It's horrible! <laughs> hey! Find another hiding place! But where? I don't know. Anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh. Ugh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. Oh, Bex right. The toilet is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> huh? I'm sure I saw her coming here. Insane, Eugenie? What has gotten into you? It's Susie! It's Susie what? Uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> wow, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all! Hello! <laughs> <What? Ooh. sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. Oh, poor 
poor Susie. <laughs> we'll never see her again. <gasps> what uh, the? Susie is a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters! <laughs> Fear just changed sides, huh? <gasps> Hello? Where are you? It's my huh? fault she became a ghost. She'll haunt me forever. Huh? <laughs> it's just a stupid movie. <laughs> it's coming from there, and it's getting closer. What on earth is going on in this madhouse? Susie was hiding in the toilet, and I flushed her down. <gasps> she's a ghost, and she's haunting the house. <laughs> huh? uh, it might, uh, kind of be my fault she's become a ghost. What if she haunts me forever? <gasps> <gasps> Okay, this magnet is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. I can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. 
One, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. Is okay. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any minute now. 